but today we're just going to get in and do some of the basic parameters that you need to change. We're not going to go through all of them. One of the most common uh, first parameters you want to get into is your ramp up speed. And to do that, you'll get into group 01. And you'll hit program data and you'll go up with your up arrow key to 01-09. You'll hit program data to get into that parameter. And then you'll hit your left arrow key to get over to this position. And wherever it's blinking is the position that you can change. And so, say we want to change this to 30 seconds. You use your down arrow key, set it to 30, and you'll hit program data. And you'll see an end come across the screen. And that means that it has taken that parameter signal. And what you always want to do is after you put that in there, you want to double check to make sure that it has taken that signal. And you'll get in again to make sure it's at 30. And if it is, you always back step out of the parameter by hitting mode. So we know that it was taken, so we'll back step out of, step out of this parameter to get into the 0, 1 group. And we'll get into our decel parameter, and that's 0, 1, 10. Once again, you get in to make sure that it's set up at, and then you can back step out of there. The next parameter we're going to check is 0, 2, 0, 0. And that, that has to do with how you're telling the motor what speed to run at. At 0, 0, it is being told what speed to run at by the keypad. At 0, 1, it's being told what speed to run at from a speed potentiometer. And that's the only two settings you really want to do on that one. 0, 2, 0, 1 has to do with how you are being told, you're telling the motor to start. Now, right now we are set at 0, 1, which means we are using the terminal strip to tell it how to start. 0, 0 would be using the start and stop, run and stop keys to tell it to stop and start right from there. So, to get out of this parameter, we'll hit mode again to back step out of there and mode to get into a different group. You go into 0, 3, and you'll hit enter, and you'll hit enter again. There is a relay that's inside of here that will close and another relay that will open. A normally closed and a normally open relay. And we can program it for what we want it to do. If we want that relay to close and we're at full speed, we would set it to a, a zero 01. If we want that relay to close when we're at 30 hertz, we would set that to a different parameter. There's many different options you can have for that relay to close or to open by getting into 0300. Zero, zero. The next parameter we're going to look at is 0500. Zero, zero. That has to do with preset speeds. So if we're first starting and we run at a certain speed, that'll be our, our high speed. And if we want to run at a slower speed, we'll get into 0500, zero, zero, hit enter, and set it to what speed we want our second speed to be set at. And on this application, we are set it at 42. And we are closing between MI1 and DCM for it to run at 42 hertz, which we are doing from our high speed, low speed switch on the control panel. So to back out of that parameter again, you'll hit mode one time, and you'll hit mode one more time to get out of there. The next parameter we want to take a look at is 0608. All variable frequency drives from Delta contain a history of faults that have occurred inside of the drive. Now to get into that history, to find the most recent fault, you get into 0608. And you'll hit enter, and you'll have a number code that'll come up, and it'll tell you what that number code is for what that most recent fault was. So you'll have to get your manual then and you'll page to 0608 and then you'll see what 02 stands for is over voltage. If it was all any of these other numbers here, 04 overload, 06 ex external fault. It keeps a history of what that fault was inside of the book here. 
So to find the second most recent fault, you go to 0609, and that's a 04, which means that it tripped out on an overload before. So to back out of that, we go to 0610, over voltage again. Back out of that, what's the fourth most recent fault is 06-11, and that means 00, zero that it's only tripped out three times since it's been installed. So to back out of that parameter, once again you hit mode, mode, and then the next parameter we're going to take a look at is 06 or 08-04. And that's set at 01. What that means is that when the power is lost and it comes back on, it runs at what the switch is telling it to run at, whether it's at high speed or low speed. So we'll back out of that. And the next one that we're going to look at is 0814. And that is set for 10. 0814 has to do with how many times the drive will automatically reset itself and start once there has been a fault. If you have a, a peak of voltage from the utility and it trips out on over voltage, it'll restart itself. If you have a trough of under voltage from the utility and it trips out, it'll restart itself. It'll do this up to 10 times without you having to physically come here and hit reset. If uh, there continues to be a problem and it gets to the 11th time, you have to physically come here and hit reset and find out why the drive is tripping out. So we'll back out of that parameter by hitting mode, back out again, back out to our home screen. Now our home screen is the F and that's how we can adjust our speed by going up or down right from the home screen. If you hit mode one time, the H will become lit and that tells us what our output frequency from the drive is to the electric motor. So if we're trying to start and the motor is not starting, we would want to get into this screen to make sure that we are telling the motor to start. You hit mode one more time, that's U becomes lit on the left side of the screen and it says 60.00 which means that we are reading in frequency. You hit mode one more time and then A on the left side of the screen becomes lit and 0.0. .0. This stands for your output amperage to the electric motor. So this is about the most important screen you want to look at to see what kind of amp draw your motor is pulling. The next screen stands for rotation and we're in the forward rotation and then mode you'll come back to your home screen again with your F lit and this mode function is just a circle and it'll always come back to your home screen. So that's just an introduction to uh, setting parameters. Thank you.